the California Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> Just kidding. We are revamping that pizza I made a few years ago. Remember when I like burned my hands in that uh, cauliflower? Yeah, it was really terrible. Anyway, we are making a brand new pizza along with breadsticks. It's completely vegetarian and is literally so, so good. Um, as you can see from the montage in the beginning, and I'm not gonna hold you back. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, go ahead and grab your big cauliflower. Make sure it is washed and clean and chop it up into chunky little pieces. Oops, there one goes. Um, put it in your food processor and blend it until it gets into this rice consistency. Then go ahead and spoon it onto your Silpat. You can get this on Amazon. It's great so that you're not wasting any paper. And put some salt on it and bake for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Then grab a cloth. Now, the real work begins. Go ahead and wrap it up and squeeze the life out of it until all the juices come out and you're, you have like this dough. Then add an egg, add some shredded cheese, some almond flour, some garlic powder, obviously, some more salt, and blend it up. Sometimes your machine will get stuck, but that's okay. Just move it around and do it again. <gasps> Smells amazing. Now it is time to make the pizza crust. I'm even putting oil on my hands as I get down and dirty with this. Hey guys, did you know that in eighth grade I won a circle drawing contest? See, I can make circles really, really well. Okay, in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, put on that tomato sauce. Some mozzarella for a margarita pizza. Pinch of pepper. Oh, I can't even right now. Pop it in the oven to let everything melt and bring it out. Put some chopped basil leaves on top. Mwah! This is life. you can't have pizza without breadsticks now can you start out with your cauliflower that's riced add in all the following ingredients to really give it that cheesy cheesy consistency as you can see with that nutritional yeast a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and uh, I don't think I'm even gonna use a spoon hands here we go Ooh, feels like a hand massage I love it and check out that dough rectangular fry it and bake for 20 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Add some cheese, bake it again, cut it up. Guys, it's breadsticks. Yay! Ah, Got me some marinara sauce from Trader Joe's and we're gonna try this breadstick. Oh, my heart, I just can't. Oh, it's so good. Okay, pizza time. Are you ready? Mm, guys, you will not even miss bread. I'm telling you right now, this crust is so legit. I mean, I just can't. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep eating. Oh my gosh, guys, that was like so good. This is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. This is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. And this crust right here, it just tastes super bready. And check it out, this slice, is under 100 calories and it's nutritiously dense. Guys, you have to eat this and this 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 breadstick? I mean, little Caesars move aside. This is really good and ah, uh, you think you're eating bread, but you're not. Oh my gosh, guys, you have to make this. I'm so serious right now. Um, I'm gonna devour this whole thing after the camera stop rolling because it would just be obscene for you to see that. Um, and please, hashtag Cheap Leads and Vlogalotties if you do make this. So let me know in the comments below if you would like a bite and also what we should make next time. So until then, um, keep eating clean. I'm gonna have a bite and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>